The story starts here at the fish hatchery on Trail Lake. It's located on the left when driving south to Seward. It is possible to stop and visit the hatchery. The fish weir is located on Bear Lake Road before you arrive at the B&B. The weir building sits on the edge of Bear Creek. Parking is available across the street. The creek is flowing from Bear Lake, drops over a ledge creating a waterfall, flows under the road, invisible again by looking over the concrete barriers. Salmon are generally available to view in the creek and the weir waterfall from mid-May to September. The creek water will flow out into Resurrection Bay and the ocean beyond. Returning salmon try to jump over the waterfall and are blocked. They find a channel under the weir building in a pen. The pen is lifted throughout the day by the weir staff and the salmon are counted and sorted. Once the allotted number of sockeye salmon have been allowed to return to the lake, 6,400 pairs, both male and female are counted individually. All other returning salmon are harvested directly into iced fish totes and go to the processor. The lucky fast swimming salmon who make it to the weir before the count is full head into the lake where they linger before spawning. Their bodies change to the red color with green elongated heads. Within weeks, they head to the creek on Bear Lake, see the map, where they believe they were hatched and where they wish to spawn. Once the salmon arrive at the creek, they find a fence or sandbags preventing them from traveling up the creek any further. They are forced to spawn at the mouth of the creek in the lake, making them easy to recapture and easy to eat for bears. The salmon are watched by the weir and the hatchery crew to see when they are ready to start the spawning process. At that time, the crew sets up a tented stripping station and start the process of capturing a set number of salmon to harvest, taking both the male sperm and the female eggs. The fish carcasses are taken to the middle of the lake to sink and feed other salmon growing in the lake. Some are allowed to complete the spawning process naturally once the required numbers are met. Driving to Seward, you pass the Trail Lake Hatchery near Moose Pass. That's where the salmon eggs and sperm go to to be turned into baby salmon fry during the winter months. The fry are planted into Bear Lake early June each year and the plant is 2.4 million baby sockeye fry. The fry are delivered from the hatchery in multiple runs by a stock truck to the public access area near our b, &B. The fry are pumped from the stock truck into a holding tank on the fishery boat. The weir and hatchery crew make many runs to the spawning creek over a two-day period. If you are visiting during this time, go to the public access on the south end of the lake to see the action. The boat takes the load to the same creek feeding into Bear Lake that their parent salmon were spawning in during the previous summer. A fabric-covered metal frame becomes the crib for the baby fry to start their lives in Bear Lake. The baby fry stay in the crib overnight and now believe this is where they were hatched. They have now been imprinted on a spawning creek water and will later do their best to return to this creek to spawn. The fry will live for two years in Bear Lake and will exit into Resurrection Bay and off to the ocean, passing through the weir and being counted as they exit. They will live in the ocean for three to four years before they feel the call to spawn and their destined return to Bear Lake. The full-size sockeye have to pass the commercial fishermen beyond Resurrection Bay and next the sports fishermen waiting to snag them in the braided creeks along the edge of Resurrection Bay. They are allowed to snag up to six a day during the season, season feeding many of the local freezers. Those who are lucky and fast swimmers may make it to the weir to fill the count and return to the spawning creek in Bear Lake.